All right, math legends, get ready for the ultimate challenge. This math problem right here has baffled millions. So do you have what it takes to get it right? If so, drop your answers in the comment section down below before watching this entire video to prove your skills. And if you got the right answer and consider yourself a math legend, hit that like button and subscribe for more challenges like this one. Three divided by four times three divided by five. First things first, I did analyze the problem. I am thinking of pandas because I have division and multiplication and pandas tell us to read from left to right according to the levels. So knowing that division and multiplication are in the same within the same level, we read from left to right. So three divided by four, I'm gonna turn this into a fraction. So three over four, and then I'm gonna bring the times symbol or multiplication symbol and then bring down that three. And I wanna turn this three into a fraction because we know three divided by one equals three does not change to three. And let's do that for this five. Five over one, if you divide that, five divided by one equals five does not change to five. All right, now let's go ahead and multiply across. Three times three is nine. Four times one is four. And now we have an answer of nine over four. So I'll write that here over four. And now we have that division symbol. We're gonna turn that into a times symbol or multiplication symbol. And then we're gonna flip this fraction here. The one will go on top of the fraction and the five will go at the bottom of the fraction. So we're using that keep change flip method. And it'll be written like this, one over five. And all you have to do now is multiply across. Nine times one is nine over four times five is 20. And you can't simplify this further. Nine over 20 is your answer. And you, can't, you cannot turn this into a mixed number because it is a proper fraction. Only in proper fractions you can do that. So let's go ahead and get a decimal answer for this. Nine over 20. So we're, we're gonna use long division. So nine will be the dividend. 20 will be the divisor. So how many how many times can 20 fit into nine? You cannot. So it'll be zero times 20, zero. Nine minus zero is nine. And now how many times can 20 fit into nine? You cannot. So we're gonna borrow a zero. So I added a decimal above the long division symbol and a decimal after the nine here. And I'll write a zero and bring down the zero. And now we have 90. How many times can 20 fit into 90? Well, four times. So I'll write the four above the long division symbol. And four times 20 is 80. And we subtract 90 minus 80, that's 10. Now, how many times can 20 fit into 10? You cannot, so we're gonna borrow another zero. Now we have 100. How many times can 20 fit into 100? Five times. So five times 20 is 100. And 100 minus 100 is zero. So your answer in a decimal form is 0.45. And there you go.